Hey, Dan. Hey, Alex. Wait a second. You're not Dan. I'm not Dan. What? What? Who are you? And I'm... what are you doing in my house? You know who I am. Yeah, it's true. This is my cousin, Brad. Avid ah. watcher of the show, and I'm super excited that he is in town all the way from... Columbus, Ohio. And you've come to Sarasota, Florida, just to hang out. Just to hang out. That's amazing. But, and swim in your pool. Yes, but I've heard that you may have come up with a brilliant board and bottle pairing. I brought a game. I did. Awesome. I can't wait. Yes. Do you want to show it? What is sure. it? I bet I know what it is. Mulligan. I'm so wrong. I'm so wrong. <laughs> We thought I was going to bring one of our favorite games. Yeah. I brought something new. I've never played Mulligan. Tell me about this game. Well, so my mom and I are big fans of golf, so I had to go with the golf theme. So came up with a fun golf game that I bought online a little while ago. Love it. Um, this is a card game that you can play. You can play any course in the world you want to. You just have to know how long each hole is. 355 yards, 378, whatever it is. The cards get you to where you need to go. There's cards that you can use to wipe somebody off course or to cancel somebody's putt or, you know, all that thing. So, oh, so you can yeah, like so be like, I make you chip this shot or, you know. I make you slice it or hook it, slice you know, it, so either it either goes farther or shorter than you were supposed to. And you can have cards that will cancel those out or you can do, you know, cards that will actually help yourself or make yourself worse to get you the yardage you want to go. And then there's... Um, Is there a card like talk in the back swing or something like that? Um, I don't think so. No. Oh, no. Oh, well. Now we know an expansion. <laughs> so yeah, so you get your driver, um, your cards that get you farther, and then the shorter distance cards that you can chip in with. So you can't actually hit the distance with the driver and make it in the hole. You have to use another another club to be able to hit it in the hole, whether it be a lob wedge or a putter or... Yeah. Oh my goodness. That sounds yeah. like so much fun. It sounds a little bit to it's me like Mealborn, where you're trying to like go a certain distance, yeah. and like once you get that distance, you're good. So like... When you get onto the green, is there like a getting onto the green or approaching? There isn't necessarily a green. There's just like the hole is here and your ball is here. And then, you know, but you know, in order to make it in the hole, you have to get at or past the hole with a certain card. Okay. And like the putter has to be used at the The putter end. or the lob wedge or something you gotcha. can hit in with. But, okay. And then, like you said, you might have played the perfect card, but somebody plays a card that says your shot didn't count. Or, you know, your shot goes 15 <sighs> yards short of what you said. Or, you know, your perfect putt is no longer valid or whatever, you know. There's a lot of fun cards like that. So it's a, definitely an attack game. Um, I played it two players with my wife. It was not as much fun because, you know, you're only attacking one person. I think in the five player, you know, or more, you know, you could play a lot of players at the same time. It's probably a little more fun because you get, you know, a lot more. That's a lot of people. players to play. You yeah. can play with more than four? You can play four? multiple players. I think oh, you can play wow. four, I think. But, yeah. Okay. Very cool. That's yeah. exciting. Well, I'm excited to play this game. It sounds great. Good little fun find. What now, should we drink with this? I was just going to say, you brought the perfect golf game. Miller Lite. I, yeah, I, I, I would think that it's Why just wouldn't you? A, crush, a crushable beer, right? Yeah. Well, well I'll, go, I'll go get one. No. We just oh. had the Ryder Cup, so this is a fun little thing that Elijah Craig did this year. Wow. They, Elijah uh, Craig Ryder Cup. Now, what is the Ryder Cup? I know nothing about this. The Ryder Cup is a tournament that is played between basically the U.S. and Europe. So all the European guys play against all the guys from the U.S. and see who's the winner. The Ryder Cup takes place in Europe, and the President's Cup takes place in the United States. So every other year, they go back and forth. So this year is the Ryder Cup. And then awesome. next year, we'll have a President's Cup held at the location of choosing... Based on the PGA, I think, for the U.S. and then the Ryder Cup. I don't know how they choose where it's at. But um, this year it was in – no, I don't remember. That sounds – doesn't say. But they used European toasted barrels as opposed to their normal American oak, oak barrels Finishing that, they would, um, oh. that they would throw in to make the, the toasted barrel bourbon that they make. Wow. So it is a different version of the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, if you've ever had that. Ooh, that is super tasty. Let's oh my get gosh. Into this guy. Ooh. Now I know why you brought this glass over for me to, to <clears throat> use. I don't know what you're talking if about. If you'd be so considerate. <laughs> this is exciting. What a treat. Not only did you come, but you come with things in hand. Yeah. Lovely. Mmm. Oh, wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Mmm, got those cherries. I get those cherries. It's got a very sweet finish to it, for sure. Oh, yeah. European oak. 
Lovely. Well, cheers, Brad. Cheers. I almost called you Dan again. Oh, I'm not Dan. You are not Dan. Wherever Dan is, I know he is furiously um, uh, jealous that he would not be here <clears throat> for this sample. And so Oops. to you, Dan, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. Yes. So what kind of flavor profile do you get out of this, Brad? Um, I get very much a lot of like sweet vanilla. Um, you know, there's a little t touch of a burn in there. It's not much because it is lower proof. It's like 94, but... I mean, you just get a lot of sweetness up front, but I think what I love about Elijah Craig and this particular like, toasted barrel most of the times is that it kind of hangs in the back of your like, throat a little bit and kind of, you know, lets that flavor linger a little bit, depending on how big of a sip you take. But, mm -hmm. yeah. It definitely has a little a long, longer finish than it most birds. definitely has a long finish. Yes, you're correct. It definitely lingers a while. Um, I get all of what you're talking about. It's so sweet. It is. Whew. Too sweet for this guy. He doesn't it's, like sweet. It's a little candy. It's a little candy for me. This is dangerous. A little happens. <laughs> <laughs> Put it over my ice cream, you know. Ooh. Yeah. Well, if I ate ice cream. It's called a bourbon float, <clears throat> in case you were wondering. Oh, that's a thing? That is a thing. Wow. <laughs> that's exciting. I'm learning so much today. This is exciting. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you for bringing this. This is... Oh, my gosh. This is exceptional. Yeah. This is great. So do they do this, you said every other year they make a Ryder Cup, or this is just the first year that they've done this? I don't know how often a Ryder Cup whiskey has been made, but I know the mm. Ryder Cup, the, the tournament itself, happens every other year. Wow. All right. Or every four years. It might be like every two years. At, um, so I don't remember. But that is so It is not every year in both locations. So President's Cup doesn't happen the same year as the Ryder Cup. My oh my. Well, I have to say... You are the first guest to ever appear on Boards and Bottles. No way. Yes, I know. I love this. So, you know, as the mantra says, we need to make sure that we game hard and drink responsibly. Cheers, everybody. True. Cheers, Brad. Cheers. This is so tasty. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>